So we're going to have a look today at this shrub. So it's not, this particular one isn't particularly tall, but sometimes they get uh, a fair bit taller than this. And we're in kind of a drier um, site here. So this is sort of more the site that this kind of plant likes. Doesn't like it super wet. You sometimes see them along roadsides and clearings and that kind of thing. And if we look up closer, we can see some of the flowers. They're just finishing off for the spring, but they come in a few different colors. This one's sort of a lighter pink. Uh, you can also get in a dark pink or sometimes even a white. And you can see it has these kind of palmate shaped uh, leaves that have quite a rough sort of texture to them. And they usually have uh, kind of the five points to them. And they have what's called a doubly serrated edge. So you can see they've got these big teeth and then in between that they have these smaller teeth. So that's what's called doubly serrated. Uh, these little flowers will turn into some berries later in the in the year. They're not particularly um, delicious but hummingbirds in particular quite love these flowers because they're one of the first things to bloom in the springtime. So um, what we're looking at here is a Ribes sanguinium or a red flowering currant. They're also used in horticulture. You'll see uh, kind of dark pink and white ones are used in planting quite a bit. The, the leaves themselves, if you scrunch them up and smell them, have a quite distinct pungent odor. And uh, yeah, it looks kind of similar in these kind of chain-like flower arrangements for other currants that you'd see and um, like, you know, white currant and black currant, things that you'd bu uh, buy as a fruiting shrub to eat the, the berries. So same kind of plant, but not really that delicious to eat.